So it's going to come down to Togekiss and his shenanigans. Um, as he goes to Pex. Again, we had to play that to the t ear. Please, 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 please. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys it's mr jambin and today we are back on the pokemon showdown server hopefully you enjoyed that epic frost slash frost moth uh frost moth live yesterday it was it was crazy it was crazy frost moth the new volcarona ladies and gents um but before we begin this live today i'd like to shout out the Academy otherwise known as I don't know if you notice I call it the family right because I was thinking about it I'm like you know damn I, I, matter of fact I'm gonna show you guys something this is a hundred percent pre-planned I had this in mind before I started so it wasn't just off the cuff um, but I want to show you guys something that we have going on called the Academy stars there are plenty of you guys there are over a thousand members here so um, I know a lot of you guys are already familiar with it but this is a place, it's one of the channels where uh, we shout out each other's accomplishments, people breaking barriers, and having breakthroughs, all those good things. Actually, matter of fact, I hope he doesn't mind, but Ray, a very long time sub of mine, um, actually is going on a rampage right now, 27-0. And, and, you know, he said the team preview breakdown really helps. Um, so, two reasons I mentioned that. Just to bring together, like, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, man, what is, what about, what makes this work? Like, how is this such a positive environment? If you really think about it, we have a lot of people in there. We should have some toxic people by now. But they're not. They're no, you know, everybody just, this, it just works. And I'm like, what was the purpose of it? And remember, the Academy was supposed to create open-mindedness. Um, empower you guys and... Um, create open-mindedness so you know I wanted it to be player central meaning you guys um, that's why I created it you know it kind of developed through people suggesting things and here we are today so we have the family I, I think of it more of the family just based on how you know when you come on you're like okay bet I know I'm gonna you know if you're in the defense house or the attack house you know you're gonna be you the normal house I mean I leave anybody else speed house you know you're gonna um, run into your people that your people that you talk to on a daily you ladder with you grow together with like this is family the academy family ladies and gentlemen um and i also showed that to show like listen i know what the fuck i'm talking about if you, you do the shit i say in the book in the videos in the coaching you're gonna see success um there's no way around it but um yeah i just thought that was dope and I really wanted to kind of re-solidify why we're here and what we do here at the Academy. What we do here with the fam. That's all cheesiness over. So let's get started with this game as early in the morning. So forgive me ahead of time if things aren't as clear as they tend to be. Trick. Initial switch would be. Corviknight or Toxtricity Drill Okay, Drill, Iron Head Guards will against these two Corviknight comes in infinitely Water Bubble Guy comes in versus mm -mm. Nothing in particular Corviknight Wall is actually a good bit of my team um, Hmm Sticky Web plus Hydreigon is pretty dangerous, but I'll need some conditions met first. Let's find out what is Conk is. I can force Conk to come in with my Sail Valley. Um, and if I can lure in Corviknight, it makes it even easier. Or lure in Corviknight and this deal with Mimikyu, that makes it even easier. So he's likely going to try to shut down my Sticky Web early. How can he achieve that? with the electric mine because this can't burn me um, so unless he has I'm trying to think so I need a sticky web up for Hydreigon to do what Hydreigon does assuming that it's not T-Wave Grim Snarl so I'm assuming he led this predicting my Excadrill lead I um, mean he's just a Hex Dragapult 
No, he specs. Don't get the power axe. So he specs. That's the only way you could do that much damage to me. Which means he's likely going to double out into. I gotta play this well. Um, I'm gonna have to read him a lot better. And that means he's gonna go into. So I'm gonna go to Togekiss here, anticipating Corviknight. Figure Corviknight would be his initial play. And Bing Bang. So Corviknight is out of the way. Um. That helps a lot with Mimikyu and that helps a lot with Excadrill. Especially if this is U-turn, Body Slam, Corviknight. That helps a lot. So this allows me to double out to my Excadrill here because he's choice locked. He's going to go to his Shockstricity. And positioning is just important. Even if he doesn't, um, I can deal with anything else that he goes to. Seismitoad is the only one. But Seismitoad just allows me to get my Sticky Web back up, which I want anyway. So Sticky Web ba being back up. Opens up Togekiss to potentially just flinch his team away, honestly. <laughs> just flinch the whole team away. That's a game plan. <laughs> ha. Um, but Cord right now, Mimikyu and um, Mimikyu and Silvali are going to be my go to guys. As I'm expecting, again, I'm expecting the Electric Mod to come in. Um, and then I'm going to be seeing either Conkelder or Seismitoad rear its head. So, Corviknight being shut down, huge! And soon I'll start overwhelming him with Sil Valley Dark. That way, Conk can be forced to come in. And there's the Toxtricity. And here's the Stealth Rocks. And there's the Corviknight. Um, so now we are, he has to make a decision. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to opt for attacking me hard? Um, we're just going to Iron Head Hurt here initially see what he does u-turns that's fine my sash is broken but positionally I like where Excadrill is because he's likely gonna go to Conkelder here takes around a burn and unless he's Thunder Punch I come in pretty freely here um, with Togekiss I'm just debating I'm pretty weak to Conk as it is I know he won't Mach Punch which which is tempting me to to just earthquake hard because I need Conk gone for Sil Valley, right? If Conk is gone, um, I stick it with Swords Dance for Sil Valley, and this game is done. This game is done, Dito. Let me think. Togekiss, assuming we go Togekiss here. Da -da -da. No, I want Sticky Web up. No, I want Sticky Web up. Hmm. And at this point, Mimikyu is. So let's just assess. So we're going to go Togekiss here because I can afford to. The Earthquakes. Probably anticipating Mimikyu. Um, you know, a mid ground of, of, of either one. As he goes to Corbin, this is excellent for me. As he's shown U turn. Um, flamethrower. I don't think it'll knock him out. I'm probably faster than him. I don't think it'll knock him out. But he has to make a decision. So Corbin is out of the game. Which means extra drill freely clicks that quake. Um, nah, I was thinking maybe I should have air, air slash flinched him and then flamethrower. That way it'd have been at least he would have died to rocks. Um, Dragapult, interesting. I don't get the Dragapult decision. I mean, I know he's gonna thunderbolt, but I, I don't get that decision. I think he's frustrated because he's been thoroughly outplayed pretty much every turn of this game um, it's just weighing your your risks and rewards um, it's less about I've, I've gone over this several times it's less about um, each individual turn being so perfect that it should boom burst here shift gears that shouldn't be enough unless he's life orb and if he is we're in trouble now um, because we have Mimikyu but uh, so we're just gonna earthquake here as goes to Corviknight, and I'm gonna be faster. If Togekiss is faster. Um, Extra Drill definitely is. I don't need the speed boost. I'm not getting past. I've been speed everything already. First, first and foremost. But mm, so clearly can't do much to my Extra Drill. Otherwise, he wouldn't have switched. So I'm gonna have Togekiss be the weakest link here, and then we're gonna finish this game up. Um. While I know he's gonna predict, I don't know if he can even touch Togekiss. Yeah, he might not just—he might just have Earthquake, um, Mach, something else. So Dazzling Gleam here is the best play. 
as he goes to Seismic Toad. We can air slash flinch this away. Even if we don't flinch it, you probably don't even die to that. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to see that burn. Sadly, it's never enough. It's never enough. So this game is over. I assumed Hydreigon would have been my go-to guy, but it seems that's not the case. I'm not gonna do it. I was part of it. I was gonna go for. Uh, I was gonna go for go to Mimikyu there because he had to mock punch. But let's just make the good plays. <laughs> let's just make the good plays as Grim Snarl evaporates. Um. I'm trying to think. You'd have to overdrive here. Cause he could he could get hacks um, to win this game. I'm just debating whether or not, like how which way I want that to risk the hacks. Him critting everything, so you'd have to crit Silvalli, you'd have to crit Hydreigon, and maybe even extra drill depending on what his other move was. Um, but. Yeah, man. Also, also, family, family, go pick up the gear, homie. Go pick up the gear, sister, brother. No uncles out here. <laughs> um, sons. Uh, yeah, go pick up the gear right now. We got about a week left. Actually, not it's far less than that. It's only a few days left. So go grab your gear, fam, so that we can um, we can get this party rolling. So let's see, let's see. Guy scene looks nothing like mine. It looks like a combination of a few pieces of mine, really only Togekiss, and the last guy's team. Like he has, I don't remember what he had here, Toxtricity, and something else here. And, you know, it's, it's similar, similar um, thing. Um, all differences, the Rotom is gonna be Choice Guard. I'm just debating whether or not I'd like that or not. Um, if it's not already choice carved, but very similar situation. Um, Hydreigon, I want to to sweep under sticky webs, but for that to happen, I'll need to remove his Conkelder. Um, I also can merc him with Mimikyu, but for that, I need to get rid of Corviknight, and I'll have to do that with Hazard Pressure. So I'll play it the same way, depending on if he aggressively goes to Corviknight and on Araquanid. Raquanid is still strong, so people should not underestimate that beast. But it also also comes down to if he is a brave bird. Araquanid positionally also does well with mm, let me see. Because Silvali on SD Merc's the entire team. Uh I'm trying to think what his potential leads could be. It could be Daddy Lead Togekiss. So I'm anticipating. Hmm, anticipating honestly, Seismitoad as a lead. Uh, it just makes the most sense versus the two things I can lead with, which are um, Araquanid and Araquanid and Excadrill. I know I'm supposed to be tricking away the item with Toyki's. Uh, however, I might be able to muscle pass. I'm gonna lead Togekiss here, right? Rotom didn't make much sense to me because you you literally die here. Um, so basically, if I let Excadrill, maybe you would see his logic was, you know, if I, if he leads Excadrill, I just switch to Corviknight. Um, though I made a video and people say, oh, I usually just lead with the the Rotom or lead with the Lander, so it could be a mindless lead as well. I don't have enough information to really say as yet. Um, my opponent is very likely going to go for something that is not um, Bolt Switch. So I'm going to be a bit ballsy in the beginning here. I'm going to trick as I'm expecting a Will-O-Wisp as he tricks back. So he's Choice Scarfed, which is good information. Um, and he's not only is he Choice Scarfed, he's Modest Choice Scarf, which is very good information. Um, Hmm. So it's very like like it's if I were my if I were this opponent I'd be like okay well it's in his best interest to um, I'm gonna have to be a bit more aggressive here 
I didn't think he'd vol switch again. That gives me information. The fact that you'd even risk vol switch there on a potential drill. Again, his logic could be, okay, I'll vol switch out and, uh, you know, I can always go to drill. Uh, mm -mm -mm. So let's see. So here comes the Corviknight. Uh, and maybe that is his logic. Maybe that is the logic. Hmm. I need more information. Nah. I don't think there is any logic. Because he just used sub bulk up corv. Which isn't the move. Which means I'm not sure what his defog would be. Interesting. So here he's gonna likely so I'll double out to Hydragon here. Two reasons he might roost, not then. Didn't expect Seismitoad. That's not what I expected. So I could have him go for Toxic here. Um But I could be sub Hydragon. So like that doesn't really make much sense to me. Personally, I think he should go hard to Conkelder. But the way he plays, I could see him going for something like a mindless toxic. Uh, I'm gonna nasty plot here. See, if I was sub hydragon there, he were, makes even worse play by going for um, stealth rock. So that's <laughs> help me, <laughs> help me, help, 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 help me, help. Uh, so he has to dragon move here. Okay, I'll deal with that. Um, maybe he's. It could be sub DD, could be sub hex. Uh, either way, Mimikyu beats both. I'm not overly concerned about it, as well as Silver Valley. Um, especially if he's sub hex. So I'm going to Dazzling Gleam here. Uh, not my ideal turn, but I just don't know enough about his Jarrah Pult. I don't want either of my physical attackers Wisp. And at this point, because he's sub bulk up Corviknight, um, if I can get the SD up versus Conk. I probably Phantom Force. Okay, so he's just a Fizz one. Okay, so we can go to the Valley here then. Come on, dude. Come the fuck on, man. So now he can knock me out with Dragon. Um, what's his face? So we're gonna go back to Togekiss here. That's fucking whack. Now he can knock me out with Dragon Darts. I think. Ah, oh, that's whack, dude. Why reward these lucky players? Alright, so my best play is always to go to Togekiss here for two reasons. I expected Togekiss to potentially go down the last turn. Um, secondly, maybe Togekiss. But I can end up keeping it potentially. So, yeah, I can end up keeping it. Whereas prior to this, I might not have. So, hmm. It's my best player. Is it a trick? He can only hit me with Phantom Force. Mm -mm. Dazzling, because he should go to Rotom. Yeah. So that damage means Mimikyu knocks him out with the heat wave. So I'm debating now. Like I could technically win the game now. I'm thinking like if because if I force the overheat here, go to Mimikyu. So if I doesn't gleam again here, he dies to. How did he ask? It's a fucking speed tie. <laughs> I think that's funny. 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 Uh, I'm just debating what my setup fodder would be, you know? Because he's gonna. If I SD here with Mimikyu. Because Corviknight is such a fat mod, it probably doesn't die to Shadow Claw. Let's see, think. Mimikyu. Mimikyu here. Swords Dance. Let's count how much overheat's doing. Roll 
Rotom Heat. So we're gonna be we're gonna rock in minus four um, overheat. Let's assume max special attack. He's modest. It's a speed tie. Why would you even speed tie with uh, Togekiss? He can't. He's timid. He can't speed tie, which is good. He had to be like timid, and then unless I gave up my item, did I give up my item? I don't believe. I think I'm still scar. So timid. Um, Let's just go with that. Mimikyu, OU Swords Dance, Overheat, minus four. It's not doing shit. It's not doing shit to your boy, homie, cousin. Um, yeah, it's not doing any kind of damage. Uh, so that means I should sweep him here. Um, Oh, uh, you love to see it. I'm not taking any damage from that cousin. So, basically, I wanted to set it up to where <laughs> what, what? Um, I wanted to set it up there as a calc to where, um, as you can see, minus four overheat would be doing um, twenty, really about twenty five percent. Mimikyu has pretty good spadef. It's just bad defense. Um, he didn't really show any info on his Togekiss. So let's see if it's heavy duty boots. GG, bro. Um, yeah, Corviknight is going to get obliterated here. There's no way you're taking a plus four life or Shadow Claw. I know you're Corviknight, but there's just no way. There's just no way. If he does, I can still win, but, you know, it shouldn't. this shouldn't be a thing. Um, it's going to be a lot harder to win because I'm going to need a Raquinid to remove Conk. But I'm also gonna need to rack with it to set up hazards because the the dragon pole crit my what's his face the dragon pole crit my my Sil Valley so I can actually go down to the dark move. But it's all about positioning. We knew. Uh, wait till y'all see that video. That video. Okay, so I see an item just take it. Man, if this shit is fucking scarf, let me calc. <laughs> let me calc. Mimic use life orb jolly. You'd think plus four life orb um, shadow sneak would kill, but this is mimic you were talking about. Mad weak, mad weak. Toga kiss. Uh, let's just say you use support or something like that. Shadow Sneak does nothing. So let's just say he's max HP. Shadow Sneak. Um, I'm trying to think what's the worst case. I can lose to Dragapult if fuck it. I'm just gonna attack it. Yeah. So he wasn't Scar. Just likelihood wise, I'm like he has a higher likelihood of being some bulky Togekiss that can tank it than being two Scarfers. Uh, Scar Togekiss even. Well, I don't know if it's that common. I don't run into Togekiss too often. Um, okay. Now we're gonna run this calc because I'm not trying to misplay rough and then have to deal with the bullshit because he can still win with the right hacks Conkelda oh you offensive oh Shadow Claw eviscerates Conk and then Stealth Rock being up 56% chance and this, that's if you're absolute max HP as if you're absolute max, you should die. Yeah. Okay. Not you. You know if we can miss, it, bros. You know if it can miss, it will miss. Especially, especially what I'm about to sweep. Especially. So yeah, that's game. That's game. Um, we're gonna grab one more. It's gonna be the last one. The last one. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. So. Uh, <laughs> this man is running. I guess this is Gen 8 stall. 
This is what the kids are doing these days. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Interesting. But you know we're gonna shut down something early with that Tog Togekiss is going to fuck him up. Togekiss and um Hydrogon gonna mess him up a lot. Um, as is Mimikyu potentially, potentially. Um, oh, look at Silver Valley go! Look at Silver Valley go! I don't know. I'm gonna deal with the Quag. Quag is gonna be a problem. Hmm. Not sure I'm gonna deal with this guy. These t the two water types he has, unless this Quag might be water absorbed. Cause Dracovish, maybe no, maybe he's using Shedinja as a Dracovish. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, well, let's cripple something early. Especially if he get lets me cripple this. Um. Hmm. Probably like a sub Toei kiss that sweep him here. A sub plot. This it was over. Um. Ideally, he'll scout for what I am and allow me to trick or U-turn out. Corviknight, I'll take, I'll take the Corviknight. I'll take that. Mm. Not amazing as far as my options, but I'll take it because Amanda Buzz U-turn. Da, da, da. But this could have been sub bulk up, which is a massive problem to my team. Um, Just trying to think. This is a problem to him, so I'm like, well, do I risk taking the damage? I doubt he's Iron Head. There's a Toxic Pace, right? I uh, say, so if this doesn't have. Let me see his item. So it's Shed Shell. So if it's not a Toxic. Toxic Pace, you gotta go Drillster here. He scalds. Doesn't get the burn, though. So it's hard to say. Like, he could. It could not be toxic. It could be T spike, which is bad for him versus Togekiss. Uh, so we're gonna rocks here. There's no way you risk this. And here, um, likely a body press, something like that coming out. <sighs> it just depends, man. I don't have enough information. And the Manda Buzz is probably sp well. If I, maybe you can overwhelm me with my dark types. I need some more information. I need more information. It's always the case, right? Sticky Web doesn't do much for me. Um, unless it's Heavy Duty Boots Shed. Which it could be. Heavy Duty Boots. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what the teams are running these days. So let's go Toy Kiss here. As he defogs. Okay, that's, that's the route he's going to go with this. Okay. So we'll go back to Drill here. We're going to Earthquake hard. Uh, so now we're going to... Mm, Let's patience this up until he gives me the information I want. He's either gonna U-turn here or show the body press. There it is. Okay, cool. I'm gonna double back to drill here. Mm-hmm. Gonna stealth rock. And so now you have a decision to make. Do you body press, anticipating my me to stay in? Well, let's go. Our Aquan is the best mid ground. I'm gonna have to condition him. Cause I don't have the, I don't have the upper hand here. Uh, let me think. Liquidation. So this is where it's gonna get interesting. Depending on what, depending on what his toxic X has. If it has toxic, is then I might be able to do a little something, something versus this. I'm gonna go hard drill here. Um, she just calls. Doesn't get the burn though. So Lil Rocks, Corviknight comes in, we iron hit here. Mm -hmm. I, I, he could just be bad. Like, that's also an option, to be fair. Uh, you know, I'm assuming, okay, because he has a salt team, that means he's a good player. Those are, nah. In fact, he's not even going to body press here. 
Yeah. Yeah. Look at there's the man, the buzz. So things are gonna start getting interesting because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have toxic on that pecs now. They're just very there's just very little incentive to scald predict on certain turns. Unless you thought I was sub trick Togekiss. Uh, so now I've gotten the damage on Corvonite that is necessary. Not necessary, but it's nice to have. It's Togekiss, he knocks my item off. So this is a big turn because this allows me to... Mm, the last one went down at around 40 something, so he might die, yeah. So Corvonite is gone. I don't have my item on Togekiss though, which is important. Like that's importantly bad, like it's not a good thing. However, what this does is now I can actually flinch this Pex down. Um, he is Shed Shell, that doesn't really matter in this game. Um, I am not going to allow this to get tricked. If he has Toxic, then my Raquinid was never going to be his Toxic Pex anyway. So I'm going to go to my Raquinid here as he scalls again, you see. I'm like, okay, so now I can, ah, oh, you hate to see, he has Baneful Bunker. Okay, that's another bit of information that I got. Okay, that's good information. I'm gonna liquidation till I get the defense drop. So he's scalding away. Um, man, I really wish actually now that I had. If he has knockoff, that means he might lose to. Hmm. Might lose to Hydreigon. He's definitely Spadef. Might lose to Silvalli and Hydreigon from here. I'm not gonna pull it off. Painful bunker, that's what it was, huh? So a liquidation here until we get the defense drop. So now he's gonna go for the recover. Just debating what I wanna do. So we'll go Toga Kiss here. He's calls. This dude made a horrible fucking this is that really bad play. Especially if I get the flinch. This was a horrible play. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, kiss. Nice. This was a legit terrible play. Uh, debating what? We'll just air slash. I was gonna trick there to take somebody's item, but this is a horrible. Cause I figured he might go cleft soon. Um, but what he's gonna do is try to, yeah. I want to air slash him down to the point where he feels comfortable staying in. Oh, uh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. So air slash again on the out chance that he stays in with picks. Uh, it's okay. Give me the item. So he wishes to get the spit after drop. Okay. Not great, but I can deal. I can deal. I don't want this taking any more damage. Um, yeah, just attack me. Okay, I'll take that. It's actually very solid positioning. Um, mm, with no item, Clef and my Clef, my Tokyo's having leftovers. Uh, iron head into put iron head here because um, I want to see what the quags item is it's lefties okay hmm maybe I should have just double to kiss there to be honest because what I didn't consider well well if it is lefties then that's something that you don't want to be in versus because it's going to go for um, it's gonna come down to Togekiss, um, probably flinching through his team to be honest with you. Because if I can get damage off on this, huge damage off on this, um, then Silvalli might be able to just pull through by itself. So I'm actually gonna Earthquake here, hoping that he goes for Toxic. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, I'm gonna let the timer wear down so that he thinks I'm gonna go to one of my my attackers here. Cause I know he's gonna toxic there. Oh, he recovered. Hmm. He's gonna toxic again here. Oh. 
It's earthquake. I want him to be low enough to where he can't come in on Silver Valley. Okay, now he's definitely gonna go for the recovery. Um, so this is gonna get interesting because he doesn't know anything about my. He doesn't know anything about my. Which is weird, right? If I was sub hydro gun, he get swept here. Like it is done. It is a done dealio. Uh. It is a done deal, yo. But I wanted Quag to be lower than him flat right now. I didn't want it to be this high on health. Uh, because he's probably going to go to Mandibuzz and just eat it up. But he might not. He might not. He goes Clef, right? That's fine. That's fine. So Clef is gone. Gonna dazzle and gleam because I don't want to waste um, air slash PP. So he sacks Shedinja and it was something else. It wasn't heavy duty boost. Um, so we'll air slash away here uh, until I can knock this out. So he knocks my item off. Uh, it's gonna come down to to Togekiss. It's gonna come down to Togekiss. Uh, the man buzz is lefties. A uh, max special attack. Um, this air slash again here. Oh, you hate to see it. You can't really harm me, though. Let me air slash again on the odd chance he tries to give me that item. I beat you 1v1, so I don't mind doing this again. Ah, oh, that's whack. That's whack. So let's knock him out here. So it's going to come down to Togekiss and his shenanigans. Um, as he goes to Pex again, we had to play that to the t ear. Please, 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 nice, nice. Three dazzling gleam here. Togekiss, man, you hate to see. You hate to not. Nah, nah. I love to see it. <laughs> so the Clefable is gone. As he's gonna try to baneful bunker here. I believe I just do more than he. Air Slash was doing like a ton. He might just die. Yeah. And Quagsire obviously can't be Togi 1v1. Um, this is still a problem though. Oh, did he miss the Toxic or did he recover? He recovered. This is doing damage. Oh, you love to see it. Togi is hit him with another. Hit him with another! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. God, bro. I, I, I can't be mad at him for being mad. I, I, I can't be upset with you for that. Now, here's the interesting thing, right? If I was a, just a nasty plot Togekiss, 6 0. Like, if I was, because his, to his Toxapex can't touch Togekiss. So if it was like a sub Togekiss, he gets 6 0. Uh, I, I don't think that's. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My defense house users. Uh, still go grab your gear, man. Defense house fam, fam. I'm sorry. I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. So, uh, yeah, go grab your gear right now, family, and I'll see you guys in the next one. That, that was funny to me. Peace.